way that my paintings develop is in a very intuitive approach of what I feel, what I respond to, but also searching for who I am. Growing up along the border and not being connected to a lot of my heritage, I have had to find it on my own. The process of art is being like a healing gesture of connecting to these histories, but then also reconnecting my relationship back to the land and learning these histories before we lose them to time. The way my process works is based on the concept of the tesseract, where you have four different layers or four different dimensions inside of it. First, I start out by dyeing the canvas with cochineal. Cochineal dye operates as almost like an astral plane that looks similar to the way physicists map space. These spiral forms in my paintings are about solstices. Indigenous societies had the capability of modeling time without industrial technology. And then building up the next image where I'm thinking about pre-colonial histories and what advanced structures predate 1492. The third layer involves observational painting that I do on site. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Heidi's been my partner for 10 years. I'm asking for feedback, but I'm also giving support where I can with Heidi's process. The fourth layer that I do is thinking about a post-colonial future where it's optimistic and healing. These layers don't sit parallel to one another because there are multiple dimensions that are existing alongside of all of us. Painting is that device that can defy time. What I want my viewer to experience is this paradox where you can go backwards in time. I think the land speaks to you when you're looking at it. Why I continue to go back to New Mexico is to reconnect with my past. My father's family was from New Mexico and my mom's from San Isidro, California, but born in Tijuana. I can't really explain how much spiritual freedom I sense when I'm there. I go outdoor painting, doing plein air painting, and in some ways it's about endurance. You go out to a specific site with a certain intention, but then nature guides you. Time is shifting also. Not only am I kind of building these multiple dimensions, I'm also literally chasing after light. Landscape painting for me feels like 
what all of our ancestors used to do in the caves. That's where we all began thinking about space, but not severing it. Colonial era painting came into the United States with the project of showing how nature needs to be tamed and all the savages need to be converted and turned into men. What I'm trying to do with my work is deconstruct what we're seeing. Who used to live there? Who still lives there? How do I utilize the language of painting to expand our vision of where we could think about space and time? Landscape painting can start two-dimensionally, but I think it could also expand out into a whole worldview to treat people in more equitable ways. It's crazy how much more fencing they kind of put up around mm -hmm. here since we last were here, Mom. Oh, yeah. We used to consider this a like, place where you could just like really run around and especially when you're kids. I would have never expected that what I took as natural and day to day would change. It's weird to just be here and making it an image that we've seen so much in mass media. Mm -hmm. What can I say about it that isn't just something that's trying to define us? I think the privilege of having lived a long life is that you know that that is not permanent. Yeah. That at some point that fence is going to go down, but I have to bring back a memory of, of of this space without the fences, because otherwise I go crazy. Um, you know, it's it's just really hard. Um, it's just really hard to see the fences. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Mom. We have to express it, though, too, in order to get past it and imagine something bigger than it. Or spending the night. <laughs> spending the night or... Some of the core themes of my work are about freedom. Freedom to really express yourself and your relationship to space and the environment. Justice. How can you do justice to the past? I think also joy. I didn't start speaking till I was five, so painting was that way for me to communicate with other people. I didn't have to explain myself. Painting has always been that method to go backwards in time, into that mode of the five-year-old where I'm just feeling. There's no words for it. <laughs> 